Hi guys! So today I have got a collective haul for you. I have got clothes, I have got nail polish, I have got makeup, I have kind of got a bit of everything. So I am just going to keep this introduction short and hop right into it. Okay, so I am going to start with clothes and I've picked up all of these pieces kind of over the past month, month and a half. Um, the first place, well it's all online shopping apart from two items. So the first uh, website I went to was karmaclothing.co.uk.com, I'm not sure. But I've been wanting some geek t-shirts and I know these have been around for so long and I'm probably like way behind the trends but I didn't have any so I wanted to pick some up. So I got a black one, it's just your kind of average t-shirt. Um, I got a white one, again geek t-shirt. Apologies for them being wrinkled because um, I have worn them. I got a, a burgundy one, it's inside out but it's basically the same as the other ones. Now I, I find that these t-shirts were quite baggy and I'm not sure, they might look good with shorts kind of tucked in, but I'm thinking I'm going to customise them. Um, like doing that laddering technique where you cut the back and it looks kind of funky or maybe make a fringe on the bottom. So if you would like me to do a video um, showing you how to kind of DIY your t-shirts, because um, they were pretty cheap, they were maybe a five or each, so I can kind of afford to uh, modify them. If you would like to see me do that, I can do a video, so please let me know in the comments below. The next shop that I shopped on um, was boohoo.com. I love boohoo. I have got so many things from that website. It's just really good quality and super affordable. Affordable. So the first thing I got was this crop top and it says fashion victim on it. It's not super cropped and um, it's kind of one of those loose sort of baggy crop tops um, and it's just basically t-shirt sleeves and it's navy and I think it's navy. It's sort of like a navy grey colour but I really like it. I haven't worn it yet but I think it will be great in the summer. The next two tops I got are actually the same but in different colours and it is this sort of white um, it's like a tank top, it's kind of lower at the back, but the thing is with this is that the back of it kind of hangs really low like that so you can wear a bandeau underneath and it's just kind of loose and flowy and I just I thought they were really nice. Um, so I got a grey one, the same with the low back like that and it kind of hangs low at the sides as well so a bandeau looks really great under it. But the reason I got those was because I've been loving the patterned leggings trend lately and I was trying to think what tops I could wear with patterned leggings and I thought those would be good because they're kind of loose and baggy and yeah they actually do really work so speaking of patterned leggings um, in that same order I picked up like three pairs of patterned leggings and two kind of different ones so the first pair that I got are these sort of like cloud print leggings I guess. Um, I haven't worn these yet because there was actually a hole in the seam. Um, it's not anything really bad, it's just the seam hasn't been sewn correctly, you can see it just there. Um, but my mum can fix that, it's just a couple of stitches really. But I thought they were kind of funky, I'm kind of going for like the monochrome sort of look, I'm not going too daring just yet. I got those. The next pair I got, and I have worn these, and they're super wrinkly, and I don't believe in ironing leggings. <laughs> they stretch out when you put them on, so ignore the wrinkles. But it was this pair here with this kind of like zigzag uh, monochrome pattern, and I absolutely love these. Um, I think they're really funky, and if you wear like a plain top, like the two tops that I showed you there, it looks really good, and I really like it. I've been wearing these with like Converse or Combat boots, they look really good. Um, the third pair I got were these sort of like black and grey sort of tie-dye pair and I think these are my favourite. I really really love these and they're super affordable on boohoo.com um, five, six pounds, something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm really loving the patterned leggings trend. So the next two pairs of leggings are also from Boohoo. They're not patterned, but they're kind of funky. First pair is just a black pair, but the whole way down the sides there is lace like literally it goes right up to the waistband there and then right down to the bottom and this is just down both sides and I thought it was really funky it's like it kind of makes them a little bit like dressier and I've worn these out with um like super high heels and they look really good and it's kind of like daring as well so it makes it kind of sexy but you know if you wear pants that don't really show like I wouldn't wear bright colored pants with these because pants is in underwear not pants and trousers. I'm from the UK <laughs> and it looks really good. I just, yeah, I love these. And the next pair I got are kind of interesting and they're super wrinkly, sorry, 
but they're this burgundy pair but down the front if you can see is like this laddering the whole way down to the bottom so basically you can see your legs the whole way down but they're really funky and I wore these when I was in Dublin to go see Fall Out Boy and I wore them with that white kind of low back top and they're really nice I really like them they're are awesome. So I had actually finished filming this video and taken all my equipment down and then realized that I'd forgotten to include something so I've had to set everything up again and so if this shot looks slightly different then that is why and the uh, items that I forgot to film were um, a whole bunch of scarves that I got and it's because I'd put them away like in my scarf hanger thing but I got these from Boohoo I believe yes it was it was Boohoo and I picked up four scarves so this is the first one it's like a grey scarf they're all pretty light scarves and this has got like I think it's feathers sort of all over it but like multicolored feathers and I just thought it was really pretty and it's kind of neutral but then it's got that pop of colour so I thought that was really nice and the next one is also grey and it has got burgundy stars on it and I'm obsessed with stars and I just love it. I kind of had to get it and I really kind of love the colour combination of like grey and burgundy and um, I just, I like that. I, I think it's really funky. The next one I got is a bit brighter than the other two and it is this um, sort of white scarf um, with like flowers and butterflies on it. Um, and I really like this because it, it's just, it's such like a pop of colour, especially that sort of neon pink and there's like purple in the middle of that and then the yellow and I just thought it was a really nice like scarf and there's like some blue and the butterflies there. It's just like loads of different bright colours and I love it. The next one I got is also pretty bright um, and it is this one and it is like a deep sort of blue with like... Um, sort of purpley pink and lighter blue flowers on it, like big, big flowers. And I liked it for the colour. I am wanting like lots of bright scarves and as you can see with all of them, they've all got a pop of colour and this is super bright and I really like it. So that is everything I got from boohoo.com. The next shop I was in was actually Debenhams, but Debenhams kind of sells everything. Um, and it, the shop that I was in in Debenhams was Henry Holland and he is a designer I believe my sister told me and I picked up three tops from Henry Holland because first off it was this top that caught my eye it is just a kind of loose t-shirt um, with a candy floss it's got little sneakers on and it says show me the sugar and I was just I just thought it was super cute so I had to pick it up it's a really kind of loose fitting t-shirt but I think it'll be great in the summer with like denim shorts kind of tucked in a little bit at the front just to make it kind of like sort of baggy and fun or even tying it up or something like tying a knot at the side I think it would look really cool um, so I, I'm loving that the next one I got which my friend who was with me actually got it as well because we loved it is this navy one and um, it has got a giraffe in the pocket and he has got like a business suit on and some not sunglasses just normal glasses he's totally like Mr. Business Giraffe and uh, there's little footprints down at the bottom there and this is sort of like a crop top not super crop but it would sit kind of just above um, where your jeans are and um, showing like a tiny little bit of skin and I really like it it's kind of like loose fitting this everything I get is usually in a size 8 but this is in a size 10 just because I figured it's kind of that baggy loose style anyway so going a size up would be fine because they didn't have a size 8 my friend actually bought the last size 8 so I was like I'll get a 10 I don't really mind so I love that and the last top I got from Henry Holland I actually um, once I bought those I bought those in store I came home and went online to see what else he sold and I saw this top it's the one I'm wearing currently and I fell in love and it's got a donut on it and it says we're jamming and he's totally wearing like headphones and like rock and I and I completely fell in love with it. it it arrived today and I love it so much <laughs> Okay, so I guess I will move on to nail polish today and I bought these four um, in Superdrug. Saturday just passed and I didn't even go in to buy nail polish but I ended up buying some anyway and I swear I have got a serious problem with buying nail polish and I, I just, I can't stop really. <laughs> I've got about 130 nail polishes. Anyway, they're all from Essie so the first two I got were actually in a two pack. Um, the two pack, it came in this box. It's the two pack called Disco Dazzle. Um, but the two colours are this midnight blue one 
which is called Midnight Cami, and then one of the Lux collection top coats, and this is Jazzy Jubilant, which is like they're glitter top coats, and this has got blue and purple and silver and red glitter in it, and they look really, really awesome together, and I'm sure this one will look great over many other colors, so I'm loving those. The next two I got were just separate nail polishes. They didn't come in a set, um, but it was this bubblegum pink one, which is status symbol or status symbol, and I love it. And also another Lux collection glitter top coat in a cut above, which is like a rose gold sort of glitter. I've got them on my nails today, and um, I've got pink on all of them, and then the top coat on the ring finger and the thumb, and I'm really liking this combo. So the next couple of things I have are makeup, and I've got one skincare item, which I will just show you quickly, and it is the Nivea um, Sensitive 3-in-1 Micellar Cleansing Water. Um, for sensitive skin and I wanted a new cleanser and I've been hearing all about these micellar waters it's kind of the same as like bioderma that sort of concept like a cleansing water um, I've never tried bioderma so I don't know how this compares but I'm really loving this it's actually super moisturizing for a cleanser and it takes off my makeup really well so I'm really loving this currently Moving on to makeup, I picked up two lip products which I featured in my um, spring lip products like top five video which I will link down below if you would like to check that out. So the first one I got was one of the Rimmel Apocalypse um, lip lacquers and this is in the colour Apocalyptic and it is a bright fuchsia pink and this is seriously gorgeous. I am loving bright lips at the minute and for like a liquid kind of lip lacquer, this is so pigmented and I would definitely recommend checking these out because they are amazing. The next lip product I got was also from Rimmel and it was one of the Colour Rush uh, balms, I guess, sort of like colour balms, whatever they are. And this is in the colour 210 Boom Chica Boom and it is again just a fuchsia pink and I'm loving these like crayon style... Um, like lip products. I've got so many of them now and I just think they're amazing and they're super moisturizing because they're kind of balmy and I love this. This is also super pigmented so definitely check them out. The next product I have is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder and I don't usually wear face powder but I thought I would give this a go just to see if it helps kind of my concealer stay on better because I've noticed that my concealer kind of shifts around my face during the day it comes off like my foundation stays on perfectly I use the Revlon Color Stay foundation and it's great but my concealer seems to move so I thought I would try a powder I mean I'm pretty dry skinned already so I'm not sure how much you know how well this will work on my skin it might make me drier but I thought I would give it a go and I have got the shade 120 um classic ivory because I'm super pale <laughs> So the next thing I have is an eyeliner and it is, again, by Rimmel. I seem to have picked up a lot of Rimmel lately, but it is the Scandalize, um, it's like a liquid liner. Um, it's like, well, it's not liquid, it's like a felt tip liner. And it's like a felt tip um, nib, but it's like slanted. So you can do a thick line or a thin line with it. I think it's really funky. I've used it today on my eyes and um, yeah, I really, really like it. So the final makeup product that I have got, which I am super excited about, um, and I ordered it on eBay because it was so hard to get hold of in the UK, and it was £36, so I would like to hope that it is um, not a fake. Um, I'm not honestly sure. Um, it might be. I've tried to research it to find out, but for £36, I'd like to hope that it's not a fake, and it is the Lorac Pro Palette. And... I am in love with this palette. It is an eyeshadow palette with 16 colours and the top eight, the top row, are all matte colours and the bottom row is all shimmers and it is just so gorgeous. I've used it on my eyes today and I've actually put up a get ready with me um, showing this makeup look where I use the Lorac Pro palette and I just love it. It's such a gorgeous palette and all the colours are so pigmented and I'm just in love with it. It's I've been using it ever since I got it. I haven't used anything else and I just, I really, really, really love it. So that is my collective haul. It's kind of the past month and a half and I know I've got a lot of stuff but I've kind of been saving it all up to put it into one haul video and I know it's taken me so long to actually film this haul but finally it's done and I can put everything away and sort my life out. <laughs> so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more from me. So thank you for watching guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!